Make sure that we seatbelt up for this one. Uh, she's uh, first time on, and uh, she's she's crazy. She's good. She's hot. Let's get let's bring Jordan up. Yeah, yeah. What is up, Sarasota? All right, listen. I'm gonna be honest with you. The whole front two rows, you guys are gonna kill me because none of you guys have laughed fucking once. So this is gonna be a great night for me. Uh, listen, I'm gonna be honest with you. I did not come up with shit, nothing. Reason I signed up for this class is because my husband decided to coach youth football all summer. So I wanted to tell him to go fuck himself. So I signed up for this class and I made him stay home with our three-year-old daughter for two Saturdays and a whole Sunday. Yep, it was worth every $350 that I spent. So uh, there's that. Uh, all right, so first off, before I even get started with material that I made up before I came on, um, are there any moms in the house tonight? Mothers? Come on. Listen, ladies, you gotta get a little louder than that. You worked very hard for that title. Ladies, is there any mamas in the house tonight? Mamacitas. Listen, I would ask everyone in the room to please, I don't care if you're a male or a female, please put your hands together for all the mothers in the house. We do not, we do not get enough recognition at all. Um, see, I, all of my girlfriends, uh, they were always very mentally unstable and unhinged. And I never really understood why until I became a mother myself and it all, it all just kind of clicked. Uh, Cause nobody prepares you for this shit. Nobody, no book, no parent, no girlfriend. Um, and what's wild to me is that we birth humans out of our vaginas and we, we don't even like get paid to do it. We just, we just do it. We just do it because we're supposed to do it. And, uh, on top of that, uh, the doctors also tell us that for nine whole months, you can't drink any alcohol, no recreational drugs, um, no fun, just instant sobriety. And then they expect us to continue to do it afterwards because they think we're supposed to breastfeed until a child's one years old. So that's, that's, that's funny in itself. But no, honestly, I will say this. Motherhood has been hands down the most rewarding thing that I've ever done in my entire life. And my little girl, she is just, she is just fantastic. But uh, there are certain things physically and mentally that I was not prepared for. Uh, the newest obstacle in our household is that my three-year-old daughter has became a professional cock blocker. <laughs> no, like, in all the senses. She essentially started as an unpaid intern, and she has just progressively uh, excelled. You know, she's just climbing that corporate ladder, and she is sitting at CEO position right now, and for the last six months, she's just been sitting there. Uh, <laughs> yeah, for the last six months, uh, that's been my life. She is refusing to sleep in her bed. And uh, yeah, this bitch has really outdone herself this time. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, reason being is I find myself now at 37 years old having to schedule out when I can get dick in my own house. <laughs> yep. Never thought at 37 years old that would ever come out of my mouth. And I never thought I'd really even want it that bad and uh, until it was no longer existent. Uh, so yeah, so because of this unfortunate circumstance, I have found myself now going to the extreme. And you guys are gonna think I'm crazy, but this is true life. I have now started to send out calendar invites to my husband's work email address to stress the importance of the, of the, the, the need for sex. Uh, it's like a national fucking holiday, right? I, I have uh, exclamation marks, emojis. I, I've got a saying that says something like, hey there, mister, I've been begging for the dick for the last five weeks and I don't know what I have to do around here to get it. Um, and it's just not registering. And uh, this is the thing too, my husband, he's in the audience tonight, God bless his sweet soul. 
Um, fun fact, he's a CEO of a nonprofit, and I'm his wife, so that's, you know, God bless him. Um, he would probably say, though, I've gotten pretty conservative in the bedroom since having my daughter. And it's, it's truly not intentional. It's the fact that I have the fear of God in the back of my head that at any given moment, this little princess, she's gonna wake from her slumber. She's gonna, she's, she knows what time it is every, every time. Every time it's going on, it's like something clicks with her head. And uh, I'm just waiting for her to ninja kick into the room, right? And if it's not that, it's gonna be a, a little knock on the door. And it's always when you're in the mid, it's, it's mid, mid, mid. It's full, it's full blown uh, theatrical extravaganza. Um, and my biggest fear is if she, God, God forbid she walks in, uh, I'm a role model now, right? We're, you're a mother of a little girl. This is, the activities that are happening are not role model-like. Um, and it would just be traumatic. If, if I have, don't have sex for, for two weeks, it would be like five months because I just would never be able to get over that. Um, and I don't know if it's just me, but maybe it's the lack of intimacy, but the older I get, I, I don't think it's much to ask for, guys. I just want something romantic, you know? I just want some good mish. Just some good old missionary sex. <laughs> Don't need anything else than that. No bells, no, no whistles, just normal intimacy. Uh, and um, maybe, maybe, I don't know, just if you're out and about, maybe grab some roses. I don't even give a shit if he goes to get me a scratch off lottery ticket at this point. Just a fucking gift would be uh, really great. Um, yeah, and you know, my husband, the older he gets, great man. But something happens to the male psyche, because once they hit 45, mm, you know, it, no, I don't even know how to start this. I, I, this is what I think it is, to be honest with you. I have came to the conclusion, God forgive me, um, my husband, I'm 99.9% .9 sure, has an Excel spreadsheet of every sex position he wants to accomplish before he, day, he dies. Guys, that's my time. I can't do any longer. They're going to kick me off. I appreciate you guys. Thank you for being here. You have one person left, and you can go eat dinner. It's Jordan. Jordan Jones. Can you imagine uh, what the comedy sessions are like when we take these classes? It's a lot of fun. Not only is it comedy, but it's uh, actually therapy as well.